Have you ever seen, they, they just recently made images of quantum entangled photons? In a shocking twist, neuroscientists have uncovered evidence of quantum entanglement in human brainwaves, something we've only seen in the world of quantum physics until now. This unexpected breakthrough could completely rewrite what we know about how our brains process information. That's a quantum entanglement. Oh my phone. God. Yeah. Are you oh my kidding? God. Oh my God. So, so each, each one contains the, the, at its center a bit of the other. Exactly. Could this be the key to unlocking the mind's hidden powers? What if our thoughts are more connected than we ever imagined? The quantum brain and the mystery of consciousness. What if your brain didn't just work the way we've always thought it did? Instead of simply firing off electrical signals, imagine it also communicating through something far stranger, quantum entanglement. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. Recent research has uncovered some mind-blowing evidence that might just link quantum mechanics with the very essence of our consciousness. Hold on, this is where it gets fascinating. You've probably heard of quantum entanglement. It's that spooky phenomenon where two particles become so connected that whatever happens to one instantly affects the other, even if they're light years apart. Now you might be wondering, how on earth does that relate to our brains? That's exactly what scientists at Trinity College Dublin have been investigating. Their study in late 2022 may just turn our understanding of the brain upside down. In a groundbreaking experiment, researchers used a special MRI technique to detect something strange happening in the brain signals that seemed to suggest quantum entanglement was actually taking place. These weren't just random brain waves. These signals lined up with moments when the participants were conscious and aware. When they fell asleep, the signals vanished. It was like the brain was using quantum magic to work its wonders. Imagine that, quantum processes linked directly to how we think, feel, and make decisions. If this holds true, it's huge. Now, before you start thinking this sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, let's dive into why this is such a game changer. Think about how your brain can process complex ideas, make decisions on the fly, and even learn from experiences. It does all this with an ease and speed that even the fastest supercomputers can't match. Why is that? According to the researchers at Trinity College, it's possible that our brain is tapping into the very heart of quantum physics, giving us an edge that machines just can't replicate. In fact, Dr. Christian Kurskens, one of the leading physicists on this project, explained that the brain's ability to process information so rapidly could be thanks to quantum entanglement. This gives us the ability to perform mental feats that go way beyond traditional computing. So what does this mean for our understanding of consciousness? Well, it could be the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Consciousness has always been one of the most puzzling mysteries of science. But now, thanks to this research, we might finally have a new way to look at it. If quantum processes are playing a role in how we experience the world, we might be on the verge of unlocking a whole new understanding of what it means to be aware. It's like we've been looking at a puzzle for years, and now we've finally found the missing piece. But here's the twist. While this discovery is exciting, we're still only scratching the surface. There's a lot more research needed to fully understand how deep quantum processes go in our brains. We need more evidence to confirm that quantum mechanics is, in fact, the key to consciousness. But if it turns out to be true, we're looking at a future where our understanding of the brain and consciousness could be completely redefined. So the next time you're deep in thought or trying to solve a tough problem, just remember, your brain might not just be using old-fashioned electrical signals. It could be tapping into the mysterious world of quantum physics, unlocking abilities that we've barely begun to comprehend. Now that we've seen how quantum processes might explain consciousness, let's dive deeper into how quantum entanglement might actually be influencing the brain's wave activity. It turns out the story doesn't end with the brain's electrical signals. Entanglement might just be playing a more direct role than we've ever imagined. Quantum entanglement in the brain's complex network. The brain is an incredibly complex organ, and we've only scratched the surface in understanding how it works. For years, scientists have been trying to figure out how the brain processes information so quickly and so efficiently. We know that brain waves are basically patterns of electrical activity, but recent findings suggest that they might also be influenced by something far more complex, quantum entanglement. This might sound like science fiction, but recent research is suggesting that our brain's myelin sheaths, which are the protective layers around our nerve fibers, 
could be doing more than just helping signals travel faster. Now let's break this down. The myelin sheets are those fatty layers that wrap around the nerve fibers in your brain. You've probably heard of them in science class. They're what make the signals travel faster along your neurons. However, recent theories suggest that they could be doing more than just insulating. Some researchers believe these sheets might be able to generate something called entangled photons. This basically means that the myelin might be creating tiny particles of light that are linked together, no matter how far apart they are. The same mind-bending phenomenon that happens in the subatomic world could actually play a role in how our brains work. Quantum entanglement is a strange and powerful concept where two particles become linked in such a way that what happens to one particle instantly affects the other, no matter the distance between them. Now imagine if this quantum phenomenon was happening inside your brain. Some scientists are suggesting that these myelin sheets could act as tiny, natural quantum devices, creating pairs of entangled photons. And if that's true, it could change the way we understand how information is transmitted in the brain. The potential impact is huge. If these entangled photons really exist in the brain, they could make communication between neurons not just faster, but almost instantaneous. Think about it. Right now, our brain works through electrical impulses, but adding quantum entanglement could allow different parts of the brain to sync up in a much more efficient way. This could explain why our brains are so good at processing large amounts of information and making decisions quickly, almost without us consciously being aware of it. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. This theory could change how we think about brain synchronization and cognition altogether. Researchers are now proposing that quantum entanglement could allow for ultra-efficient communication across the brain's networks. Instead of neurons working in isolation, the brain might be able to coordinate much more effectively, processing information at speeds we never thought possible. If proven, this could change our understanding of how consciousness and cognitive functions work on a fundamental level. Now, this is still a theory, and the research is ongoing. There's a lot we don't know about how quantum mechanics might influence brain activity. But the more we learn about the potential role of entanglement in the brain, the more we realize that our minds might be operating on a level much more complex than we ever imagined. If this research pans out, it could open up a new era in neuroscience, where the brain's ability to process information isn't just about electrical signals, but quantum connections that are both fast and highly efficient. The future of neuroscience might be a lot stranger and more fascinating than we thought. If quantum entanglement really is part of how our brain works, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. What if this discovery could help explain how we remember things and make decisions? The potential is huge. Let's take a look at how this could completely change the way we understand memory and decision-making. The brain's quantum secret to faster decisions and memory. The human brain is an absolute marvel, and its ability to process complex information at lightning speed has always intrigued scientists. But what if the brain's efficiency is being boosted by something far beyond electrical impulses? Something as mind-bending as quantum physics. Recent research suggests that quantum entanglement could play a part in how our brains process information so quickly, and the implications could be huge. Scientists from Pompeo Fabra University and the University of Oxford have come up with a new model based on quantum mechanics to explain how our brains make decisions at lightning speed. They've found that long distance connections between neurons seem to work similarly to quantum systems, allowing for incredibly fast and complex computations. This means that our brains might be processing information way faster than we ever thought, tapping into a level of efficiency that traditional computing systems can't even touch. How crazy is that? But it gets even more interesting. Research from Shanghai University has suggested that the myelin sheath could actually be creating entangled photons. These photons might help speed up communication between neurons, which means our brains can sync up and share information even faster. If this theory holds true, we could be looking at a whole new way to understand how our brain communicates internally, especially when it comes to complex processes like decision-making and memory retention. And speaking of decision-making, Quantum mechanics might even help explain how we make such fast and sometimes incredibly nuanced choices. Imagine this. Quantum entanglement could allow different cognitive states in our brain to connect in ways we never thought possible. It could let the brain process multiple possibilities at once, 
and choose the best one much faster than any classical model could explain. There's even a study that used quantum probability models to describe human decision-making, suggesting that our brains might be working in parallel, almost like running several simulations at once before settling on a choice. Now let's talk about memory. It turns out that quantum tunneling, another quantum phenomenon, might be involved in how we store and retrieve memories. Quantum tunneling is this strange process where particles can jump from one place to another without actually crossing the space in between. In the brain, this could be how information is transferred across neural networks, helping to form and store memories. It could also explain why our brains sometimes recall memories in such a non-linear way, totally challenging the old linear views on how information is stored and retrieved. While all of this is fascinating, we need to be cautious. These are still just theories, and while they offer some incredible possibilities, it's clear that quantum mechanics isn't the entire story of how our brains work. These models are just one piece of the puzzle, and ongoing research is needed to validate them. But if this theory proves true, it could totally change how we think about the brain, cognition, and memory. The future of neuroscience is starting to look a lot more like science fiction, and we're just getting started. These discoveries are incredibly exciting, but as with all groundbreaking theories, questions still remain. Could quantum mechanics truly work in the warm, wet, noisy environment of the brain? Or does the brain's environment make it impossible for quantum processes to take hold? This brings us to a crucial debate that could reshape everything we know about quantum cognition. The big debate, can quantum physics survive the brain's environment? Quantum physics and the brain sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. With all these theories and research, you might even believe that our brain works far differently than we know. But here's the thing. Not everyone's convinced that quantum mechanics has any place in the brain. For years, scientists have said the brain's environment is just too warm and noisy for delicate quantum processes to work. It's like trying to do brain surgery in a room full of blaring music and constant chatter. Nothing would stay in place for long. So what's the deal? Some critics argue that quantum processes like entanglement just can't survive in the brain's chaotic environment. Think about it. The brain is constantly firing off electrical signals, filled with fluctuations and noise. This, according to them, is the perfect recipe for quantum decoherence, where the delicate quantum states collapse because of too much interference. And it doesn't help when experts like physicist Max Tegmark say that quantum states in the brain could only last for a femtosecond, which is about a quadrillionth of a second, way too short to have any real impact on brain functions which is about a quadrillionth of a second, way too short to have any real impact on brain functions. But then something interesting happens. New research and technology are beginning to challenge this old thinking. Sure, the brain's environment might be noisy, but it might not be as bad for quantum processes as we once thought. In fact, recent studies suggest that the brain could actually be set up in a way that helps preserve quantum states rather than destroy them. Some scientists believe that the brain's complex systems like the microtubules inside neurons, could amplify quantum effects in a way we've never imagined before. What makes it even wilder is that there's a phenomenon called the quantum Zeno effect, which could actually help maintain quantum coherence in the brain. In simple terms, it's like putting a lock on the door that keeps quantum states from getting lost in the chaos of the brain's activity. Think of it as a safety net that prevents the quantum magic from disappearing, allowing it to potentially influence how we think, remember, and make decisions. Now, before we get carried away, let's be clear. This is still a huge debate and no one's ready to declare that quantum physics is the missing link in how our minds work. But these new theories are pushing the boundaries of what we thought we knew. They're opening doors to possibilities that could totally change how we think about the brain, consciousness, and the nature of reality itself. The more research that's done, the more we realize that we might just be scratching the surface of something much bigger. Could quantum mechanics really be the secret ingredient to our thoughts, memories, and decisions? The debate about whether quantum mechanics can work in such a messy environment like the brain is still going strong, but the questions it brings up could change the way we understand how we think, feel, and remember. We might not have all the answers yet, but one thing's for sure. This is a conversation that's only going to get more interesting as we learn more. Who knows? The brain might be even more mysterious than we ever imagined. 
So what do you think? Could quantum physics be the key to unlocking the mysteries of our brains? Is it possible that our minds work in ways we've yet to fully understand? The debate is far from over, but the possibilities are mind-blowing. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting theories. Thanks for watching.